Hey chatters, in this video, we're gonna be going over how you can create an AI enhanced project within the Google ecosystem using a tool they have called Notebook LM. I will be honest with you, there's a little bit of redundancy here between Notebook LM and creating a gem in Gemini, but it's just a really cool, useful, easy to use tool. So I wanna show you how you can set up projects in here and essentially talk to your knowledge base and your documents and create all kinds of other fun things for yourself. So let's go to notebooklm.google and let's try it out. When you first log in, you're gonna to come to a page like this and you're gonna to wanna to create a new notebook. The power in something like Notebook LM is that you can feed it all of this information and it will save that in a knowledge base, which when you ask it questions, it can reference. So I'm gonna upload some sources from some fake project that I've made up to give it that idea of what we're gonna be working on. So you can do this in a couple different ways. One is you can go directly to your Google Drive and pull stuff, which is what most of you will probably do. You can provide links to websites and YouTube, so it'll scrape that website or the transcript from the YouTube. Or we can upload a bunch of different types of files, including PDF, Markdown, and even audio. So let's update what we got. We can see here I've made up several documents for this fake project, for this use case. But we might have things like our technical specifications, who's on the team and what they do, what's our weekly status note. So every time you have a meeting note, you would upload it to here, our project overview and an index for how to navigate everything, the project charter, our requirements doc. And then again, you might upload things like communications or updates to the project, whatever those files might be, previous projects you've done successfully. And we're gonna let this now upload here. So we can see here that we have a bunch of different ways to interact. Our first little intro here is that you can see it's just telling us what's in this project, how many sources there are, and then we can do things like copy this summary and put it somewhere. We can save this summary to a note, and then we can do these fun little things like I can add a note. I'll just type, I can type something up here. Oh, these are our meeting notes, or here's an update, or this is what I'm thinking about this, whatever it might be. And then you would just convert that to a source and it would end up here. And again, now that becomes something that you can reference. Another thing that you can do is a mind map. I'm not sure how useful this will necessarily be to you. You can see it's generating the mind map now, but the idea here is that it's gonna help you connect information, have a more visual format in terms of what you're working on. So you can see here, this is pretty simple. It just mind mapped the different files that I have in here. And if I click in here, it's going to shoot a little question in, which then it's going to look at all the information and it's going to come back with an answer for us. And you can see here, it then extended the mind map to be a little bit clearer in terms of the information that's connected to this project summary node. So just an easy way for you to build out a more visual system for navigating your documents, if that's something that you find valuable. Notebook LM also makes it easy to have a more multimodal experience with your information. So we have two options, this audio overview and then actually a video overview as well, which as of doing this, they literally just added. So I'm happy <laughs> I didn't try to do this video before it came out. So if I hit audio overview, it's gonna take a second. It's gonna generate what is usually a five to 20 minute podcast on your information. This is to me a little bit more of a fun thing. I'm not really sure, unless you're putting content out and whatever, how useful this will necessarily be in a business setting, but it is fun. While it's generating the audio overview, I'm also gonna bring up the video overview. This is more or less gonna make a slide deck that gets narrated over for you of the information again that is inside of this notebook that you've created. So let's dive into how we can actually use this tool. You can think of this as a specialized knowledge base that's been trained on your information and you can ask questions to it and it will provide those sources back to you so you know that it's actually coming from somewhere true, it's not hallucinating and you can follow up on it. So let's just take one of these questions that it's given me to ask it. And you can see it's just your typical chat interface. So if we zoom in a little bit, you can see it's bringing up the project name. What's our objectives? What's the scope? What's out of scope? The success criteria. 
And you can see we have citations everywhere. So now if I come into here and I click that citation, it takes me precisely to where that was actually saved so I can find where is that actually saved. So it's also not only a way to get your answers quickly, but it's a different way to search through your information. I'm sure we've all been there where we just cannot find that file, right, that we saved. Like, where the heck did I put that thing? And so this allows you again to just dump all this information, all these files into one place and help you not only immediately get answers based on those files, but also find those files that you maybe don't remember where they were. One more thing I want to talk about is these different report types. But before that, let's chat about the Synaptic Labs AI readiness assessment for a second. Is your business ready for the AI wave? Find out in just three to five minutes with Synaptic Labs' AI readiness assessment. Our quick questionnaire analyzes your current AI capabilities and delivers a personalized roadmap for integration success. Plus, complete the assessment and receive a coupon for any of our premium AI-enhanced workflows, absolutely free. Don't get left behind. Discover your AI readiness today at ai-readiness.synapticlabs.ai. The last thing that at least now Notebook LM can do is help you generate these interesting reports. So if we come into here and we hit something like briefing doc, now you see it's looking at all of our sources. It's going to create a briefing doc. We can also do an FAQ and a timeline. We might not need to do the study guide for right now, but you can imagine if you are in the education space, you need to learn something. It's a great way for you to, again, upload that all that information, hit that study guide button, and then use that to help you study. Let's check out some of these reports. So you can see here, we have this nice little report that it generated for us. This is really good for keeping your information up to date, right? So if you added a new meeting note, for example, or something updated in the project, whatever it might be, you can run this briefing after that meeting, after whatever, with all your information. You can just hit this convert to source button. It adds it to the sources that it can draw from, and now it has up-to-date information. Here's our FAQ doc. Maybe someone missed a meeting, or maybe someone just joined, or you have an intern coming in, or maybe you want to use this to give that bot that you're using more information, those questions and answers. We have a nice little FAQ it created, and then we can just add convert to source. And now that FAQ becomes part of the knowledge base. And then last but not least, we have our timeline and team directory. It's only as good as the information you feed it. But the idea here now is we have our plan in terms of the timeline based on the information we've provided. And you can do that in a couple seconds versus having to type all this stuff up. And then you can even take this to your LLM of choice that has access to something like data analysis or can mess around with spreadsheets and put it into more a data format that you can use to do Gantt charts or whatever it might be. Briefly, before we wrap up, our audio and video have now finished. So if you come into the audio overview, you can play it. You're not going to hear, I'm not going to share the sound. It's not going to make any sense to you because this is all made up. But the idea here now is you're going to have a short little podcast that you can listen to. But something really cool is you can hit this join button. And if you hit the join button, you can actually get into the conversation. You can start actually talking just like I am to you right now to this knowledge base, to this audio overview, and it will adjust what it's saying based on what you're asking it. Let's check out the video. So if I hit play here. They're all going to have this similar style. Again, I'm not going to share the sound because it doesn't really matter, but it's going to take the information that you provided, the sources, and create a quick little deck almost that it goes through and narrates through. Of course, though, and I'm going to say this as we talk about some of the limitations, you don't really have, at least at this point, any control over this. So you can't really tell it like, oh, I want the slides to be outlined like this with these titles. I want this look and feel. You can see here it has the Notebook LM branding, obviously, because this is a free service. And you just, you don't have control over what it actually outputs. So what this means is that if you want to use this in any sort of scalable way, you might have to generate 10, 20, 30 videos to get it to where you want it to be or be very clear in the documents that you're providing it as sources to give it those instructions to hack it to follow. But again, you just you don't really have control over what it's going to output, either for this or for the audio. 
And that's aligned with the only other kind of small gripe I'd say I have with Notebook LM, which overall is just a great tool. There's no real way to put in a system prompt here that's reliable, or at least not that I can find. Now, granted, you could have a note as a system prompt, or each time you could have a, your prompt library of things you feed it, and you just put that prompt in here as your first little starter. But that's not really what this is meant to be. It's really supposed to be a little knowledge base you can upload stuff to and interact with that knowledge base in a more natural language way as well as developing these other documents, mind maps, multimodal outputs. But other than that, it's an incredible resource. I would highly recommend checking it out. And again, if you're already in the Google ecosystem, this is probably the tool for you. I hope that was helpful. Definitely leave in the comments how you're using Notebook LM. If I missed any of the functionality or you have any questions, be happy to respond.